Today, uh, Tuesday, July 6th, we had a work session, and I guess I'll go over some of the things that we talked about. It was a short uh, informational uh, meeting here. So uh, today we did approve uh, some uh, two contracts with Brown Intertech. Uh, that uh, was for groundwater uh, investigation and, and some special um, construction material testing uh, for the correctional in the court uh, facility here. That is, uh, as you see, some of the demolition going on. Uh, you know, the old dry cleaner's gone, the the, the fire hall's gone. Uh, as uh, I would presume by the end of the day, if not uh, mid part of next day, all buildings will be down at this point in time. Uh, we did uh, authorize uh, the IM care director uh, to sign a contract with uh, Kirklo Dentistry uh, for our, for the IM care uh, provider. Uh, we did authorize the Tasca County hum, uh, Health and Human Services uh, to go into uh, a bid with um, uh, the Honeywell uh, Inc. Uh, for a Tasca Resource Center rooftop unit uh, replacement project. We'll go out for uh, contracts or bids on that. Um, we do have a proposal here in the contract uh, uh, um, to sign. This contract is going to be for intersection of Highway 2 and County Road 63. The responsible bidder was KGM Contractors. Uh, the amount for this uh, uh, new required uh, uh, contract is $927,000. Um, with that, uh, so the intersection there on Highway 2 and 63 will be rehashed. Uh, and re uh, replanned um, the as you see the uh, brand new trail my understanding uh, with talking with the city of Grand Rapids uh, it will be more of a multi-use trail um, where a snowmobile could use it in the winter time because of the ditch being gone uh, at least this is what the uh, uh, city uh, engineer uh, told me but they will not be signing it uh, so uh, but there, um, so some of that uh, reorganization and re-engineering out there is due to that. Uh, we did have a highway easement uh, proportion uh, tax forfeited land for the city of, of Deer River. Uh, this is crossing a handful of uh, tax forfeited trust lands. Uh, this is for a safe uh, walk to school. Uh, we did have a land classification uh, meeting schedule for the fall of 2021. This meeting will be held on Tuesday, September 21st uh, at 1 p.m. in the county boardroom. Uh, we did uh, approve easement for a railway uh, proposal for Huber Engineering Engineered Wood LLC. This is going over tax forfeited land described as government lot three, government lot four, east half and southwest corner of section 31, township 56, range 26 west and we will do authorization of signatures on that. And then we did uh, approve a recreational trail license with the city of Cohasset, uh, and this is for the uh, bicycle park out in Cohasset, uh, the great bicycle park out there. And the city of Cohasset has done a wonderful job there. Thank you very much. Um, some of the informational discussions we've had, we didn't have any citizen input at this point in time. We did have a construction agreement for possession excuse me, possession uh, crossing system over in Coleraine. So uh, our, our safe crossing zone, um, we needed to have a better way for people to cross Highway 160, or excuse me, Highway 169 there if going from Bovee to Coleraine. So uh, MnDOT, uh, City of Grand Rap, or excuse me, uh, County of Itasca have gotten together with with the the two cities to try to work these these things out. I think uh, this has been long overdue. Um, Ryan Sutherland came and gave us a report on that. It's uh, it's finally going to happen, and and it's about time. So uh, the Prozessian uh, uh, crossing system. And then we talked about the new correct, uh, jail facility and court. Uh, um, we had a presentation with that. 
uh, from Integrity and KMA. Uh, these are our contractors and our architects. If you did watch ICTV, you'll notice that there's been a nice walkthrough, uh, um, virtual walkthrough, a little bit of what it might look like. Um, right now, we are on on track for um, construction time, and and as you will see, uh, uh, demolition should be done here in the next two or three days. At least the buildings will be down, and we still have to take away a lot of uh, uh, subsoil uh, from there and, and going forward. Uh, but it looks to me that we are on time. We did have a closed uh, session here today. It was on o opioid uh, litigation, and uh, uh, we did give direction to Mrs. Adams on how to handle that. Uh, with that in mind, uh, please, uh, everybody be safe. Have a good week and uh, upcoming weekend. Thank you so much. Bye.